yo, what is up, guys? You know, today I wanted to talk about something that, like, yo, that I was talking with my boy on Friday, you know, when we were working out, and he was telling me all, like, you know, basically about, like, body dysmorphia, you know, like, oh, like, you know, I be feeling a type of way every time I go on social media, and, like, you know, and mind you, this, this kid's fucking jacked as hell, right? He's big as shit, He's, and you see all these motherfuckers, you know, that are 6% body fat, whatever, and you're like, fuck, like, and I'm not gonna lie, even myself, you know what I mean? I'd be like, damn, I'm not as shredded, but, like, too... 95% of people, so most people, bro, like, they always be like, oh, you lean as hell, you look good, bro, I took my shirt off at, like, let's say, like, a rave festival, they're like, bro, this kid's jacked, and, you know what I mean, of course, the people who are more jacked than me, you know, hey, uh, sometimes you get the aesthetic sarm boys, or the aesthetic, you know, voided up guys, and, you know, and they always, always give me love, they're like, fuck, I'm like, fuck, you know, I don't give a shit, you know what I mean, of their own stuff and whatnot, but, you know, for the most part, even the guys who look way better than me, they're fucking big as shit, they always tell me I look amazing, and right now, like, I'm in, I'm lean bulking, so I'm not as shredded, and, you know, people will be like, oh, you lean as hell and shit, you know what I'm saying, and uh, that's what I'm saying, like, you know, it's, you are sometimes your worst enemy when it comes to a lot of shit, you know, like, you can be a person that's just like, damn, I'm not good enough, and you're putting yourself down when, like, most people are gonna tell you, like, shit, bro, like, you know, you look amazing, you look good, you big as hell, you know what I'm saying, like, you, you shouldn't have anything to really worry about, and that's the thing with social media, is, like, you know, people are so caught up with, like, you know, trying to, like, look like these motherfuckers, but you don't know if these motherfuckers aren't even natural anyway, and most of them aren't, and a lot of people, and they've been caught, Photoshopping their pictures. How real is it? Or they recycle pictures from like two years ago, you know, or like in their last cut. And they're like, fuck, like, you know what I mean? They're trying to present it like it's them currently all year round, you know? And that that's also another thing, man. Social media kind of like fucked everything up. And then you also have like things with like with me, what sometimes I get maybe a little insecure is the like, success. You see someone that's younger than you or around your age, you're like, fuck, these motherfuckers own, they got a house, they got the fancy car, you know, the girls. And you're like, oh man, I want to be like that. How come I'm not like that? And it's like, you know, some well, someone's chapter 10 is completely different from your chapter one. Same thing with the working out. It's like, bro, like they been training double the time that you have been training. You can't compare yourself. Like I've been training for fucking like, um, like 10 years. Now, like, you you know, you can't compare yourself to me, you know what I mean? Like, because I've been training for so long, you know what I'm saying? Like, unless you're, like, a freak. And there's some, some motherfuckers out there that are freaky, right? And But you'd be surprised, bro. Like, if you're, like, a person that most guys are trained to attract, you know, the opposite sex or some, the same sex, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, bro, like, I'm telling you, bro, like, being, like, 6% body fat ain't gonna get you laid more. Like, I, that is a fact. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and it might actually do the opposite because you're going to be so depleted and strict with your diet that no, it's not even going to be fun. You're not going to be even fun to be around, right? But, like, it's the truth. And that's what I'm saying. When it comes to body this morning, I feel like the best thing you could do is kind of, like, compare yourself to how you were when you first started. Right? You know, I'm pretty sure if you look at yourself now, like, you, if you were to go to your past self, and then, like, if you could time travel and then they, that, that your past self could see you how you are now, I'm sure they'll be like, yo, bro, you're fucking a beast. You know what I'm saying? Like, my when I first started, bro, like, for example, my squats, right? I was horrible at it. You know, now squats are, like, my shit. You know, like, I fucking squatted with 420 pounds. For someone that's 160 pounds, you know, 156 pounds, like... You know, like, like 168, I eat like crap, right? Like, this, but whatever, right? Like under 165 pounds. That's some. that's pretty good. And I told myself I wanted to get a 315 bench, done it. I got a 500 pound deadlift, you know, and a 420 squat. And I'm, I'm, I basically in the 165 range, bro, those lifts put me in the top percentage. You know what I mean? You know, obviously I look at people on IG and I'm just like, fuck, like, you know, these kids are repping out all these plates and stuff, but they're also way, way more than me. And they're on stuff. I'm not, right? Like, I'm I'm not. And uh, when I was, and this is a quick little, like, side story, but when I was powerlifting, I did that shit for so long. That's when I got those lifts, right? And I was like, oh, my lifts are not good enough, not good enough. They're, they're never going to be good enough. Your lifts will never be good enough to you, right? And you hear the numbers that I'm telling you? Right? You know, right now, I can't lift those numbers, right? Like, you know, now I'm not focusing on that more bodybuilding, like, machines and all types of stuff. Because I'm trying to, I have different goals. But at the time, I was like, I'm trying to get strong as fucking possible. And, dude, you know what I mean? Like, I'll tell you what. I could have done a meet. And I was at one, like my, one point at, like, my strongest, dude. Like, like I shit you not, I could have probably, like, at that moment, done a meet and done, like, 420, right? <laughs> Like on the on the squat in that meet because I only got four hundred like three pounds at, and, and when I actually did a meet, 
Uh, but I ended up hurting myself war warming up. Like, I'm just like, fuck, why didn't I compete like a month or two ago? Like, you know what I mean? Like, and, and I hurt myself warming up like a jackass. Like, not it, with warm up weight, with 365 pounds. Like, I just, uh, that was it. And I, bro, let me tell you, that shit took me out for months. You know what I mean? I couldn't even fucking, you know, get a plate. Like, think about it, I couldn't even squat a plate or bench a plate or jump or run. Like, I was fucked, right? Uh, you know, and, and let me tell you, you would appreciate your lifts when that happened. Like, I was like, damn, I was fucking strong. I, I fucked up. You know what I mean? I still kept working out, so nothing, my physique was still good. Uh, and then, you know, it's crazy because then I did the meet. I actually ended up doing the meet. Like, later on, I rebuilt my lifts to the best of my ability. I got 484 pounds on deadlifts, like a 250-pound, uh, bench and, um... And what was it? And like a like I said, a four hundred and three squat, and you know I I I felt like I did pretty good, but like you know if I didn't, I also was crazy because then I was trying to cut too, right? And I should have basically I ended up doing both, so the cut kind of like fucked up my lifts a little bit, but I still hey dude, I still kicked ass, I still did my shit, you know what I'm saying? I got like fourth place though, and of course if I was like fuck it, maybe I didn't cut. I could have placed a little higher. Fuck if I competed way earlier, I wouldn't. I would have fucking that damn near won. Right? It's always a coulda, woulda, shoulda. But my point is to you never be good enough to yourself. You know, you got to be like, you know, like if you're trying to do a pilot thing, me, don't be chasing, oh, I got to chase these numbers and then do me because you see these people on Instagram or whatever, you know, like, nah, bro, like they've been lifting longer than you, whatever, like fuck them. You know what I mean? Like get the experience when you can and just do it. You know, same thing with a bodybuilding show. You know what I mean? Like you are, you built a physique for a couple of years. You know what I mean? Like, and just do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that that's what I, you know, that's what I did. I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to do my best. And okay, I did my, I tried my best. You know, the first show, you know what I mean? I did the first meet, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got the experience. You know, most people that do their first show, first, you know, like, me or whatever, they're not going to win. Of course, some people do. Good for them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the kid that won the show when I competed, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a pro now. Like, He's a beast, you know what I mean? Like, like, all right, he's a beast. You know what I mean? He's also like, admittedly, he talks about it on, on stuff and I'm not, you know what I mean? I competed in a non-tested federation. So like, you know, I can't compare myself to any of those people. It's like going into a uh, fucking like uh, a gunfight with a knife. Like, you know what I mean? But it's just the experience that I was there for at the end of the day. You know, of course I felt like, fuck, I should have done better or whatever. You know, it's that ego that hits you. But like, whatever, you know what I mean? That's why that, okay, so I learned, right? I'm like, all right, the next time, Natty Show. Natty Show for sure. You know, I got the experience. I know what I kind of need to do. I know what I need to improve on. You know, I was like, fuck, if I lost two more pants, I would have been, my core would have been crazy. My posing, like, you know, so then you learn. So then the next time you're better, right? And then you're better than the following. You just get better as you keep going. And that was my mistake and why I didn't compete for so long. Because I'm like, oh, I'm going to build, you know, all these lifts and do all this and stuff. I should have just kept going and going and going and going and going. You know what I mean? And then, you know, it would have been a whole different story now. But, hey, I'm still young. So I'm going to, you know, dive into this shit. I'm going to be like, fuck it. Let's compete. I'm already found a couple of shows in the next couple of months that I'm going to hit up. And I'm going to fucking rock it. And I just because, you know, I, it's been so long since I competed last time. I was like, fuck it. We're going to try doing like, you know. At least like two or three or some crazy shit. Like, you know, I'm going to try banging them out just to gain more experience and potentially try, you know, try earning a pro card the natty way, the natty shows. You know what I mean? Like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm going to try my best. And the most importantly, you know, share the journey and all that stuff. But the bottom, the point of this video is more of just like, yo, like, you know, dysmorphia and just kind of like insecurities. I have insecurities. Everyone does. You know, it's the best thing I can say is kind of like. Yo, don't think like that, bro. Like, you got to really put yourself higher. And then, like, you know, you be, you probably would have, be more successful. Like, in my case, definitely, if I if I did not do that, but I learned, you know what I mean? If I did not put myself in those experiences, like, it, like putting myself down like that and, like, was trying to, you know, wait till the perfect time. There is no perfect time. There really is not. You know what I mean? Like, it, there really is never a perfect time. Like, you know, it's always about starting some shit. And then going from there, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm going to be doing now. Same thing with the YouTube, whatever. You know, I always was on and off, on and off because I'm like, oh, I got to have the best creative thing. But right now I'm just like, fuck it. You know, I'm going to upload whatever, you know, like, like whatever comes to mind. I feel like somebody out there would benefit from this video. And hell, like, you know, we could all fucking be successful and we're all going to fucking make it. Lock the fuck in, yo. Anyway, guys, peace.